Now, hmm. The goal of our next speaker is to bring the next great opportunity to the paper industry. And by working with a team of Valmet experts and researchers in collaboration with University of Maine, his vision has a good chance of becoming a reality. David Cowles is the right person to guide us through what microfibrillated cellulose um, is and the many different ways that this can be used. What is MFC? MFC is microfibrillated cellulose. It falls within the general umbrella of a whole host of different nanocellulosic materials. As you can see from the graph, our MFC falls into the fibril range. What does that mean? Well, it's not all the way to the cellular level, obviously, of cellulose, and it's a far cry from a tree. What do we mean by MFC? And we typically measure it as a percent of total fines. What is a fine, you may ask? A fine we define as a fiber that is less than 0.2 millimeters in length. So we might have processed a product of MFC that might be 80% fines. That means that 80% of that sample is less than 0.2 millimeters. What are the benefits? of MFC. First off, MFC is a sustainable resource that derived from trees. This has wonderful possibilities for sustainability. For example, in Brazil, a tree farm made of eucalyptus might have a full tree growth of somewhere between six and eight years before it's harvested. That tree root can then be used two or three more times or two or three times total for possibly 20 some years when the same tree root before the plant is dug up and the site is allowed to rest. That could be three harvest crops. That is basically the definition of sustainable resourcing there. It makes it a very efficient process to possibly use and do work with MFC. Secondly, the flexibility of production. The Valmet way is a purely a mechanical process. However, there are many other people that are experimenting with different ways to get cellulosic nanomaterials. Some of them involve some exotic chemistry and reactions. Some are a combination between chemistry and mechanical process. Um, we do view that a um, pure mechanical fiber is uh, very much of a superior fiber that um, imparts a great deal of strength and value for the customer. Speaking of value, what is the value of MFC to the papermaker? There are many different ways that the papermaker can derive value from MFC. Um, strengthening of the sheet, uh, might be fiber substitution, possibly adding more ash, possibly uh, using it as a, to enhance barrier properties of uh, specialty packaging. We feel that MFC has certainly a place as a building block towards getting rid of a lot of plastic and packaging and provides a lot of value and potential for specialty paper mar market marketeers. So it depends upon what each company and process wants to do with MFC, but MFC provides the paper maker with a toolbox of possibilities that only their imagination can rein in. Next, most people want to know is what markets is MFC in. So as you can see, there's people are constantly searching for new ways to use nanocellulose materials. Um, Valmet is concentrating on using it in paper and packaging, but there's still a whole, whole host of other innovations that are being done and explored and will continue to be done and explored for the years to come. And thank you again for your time today.